Hey Jay, you're the VP of Marketing at Avalabs, which is the company behind the development of the Avalanche blockchain. Tell us about your thoughts on NFT. And don't be afraid to get philosophical. You pick a river narrative and, and it used to be a wide, wide river and you couldn't really see the other side. And all of a sudden you're seeing the other side and you're like, wait, I can actually see like some things over there and maybe I can maybe envision a little bit of what the future might look like. And so I think NFTs did that a lot actually uh despite mm -hmm. what people may think about a lot of the things that happen i think nfts to me um amongst a lot of different viewpoints but one of them would be it's kind of like a trojan horse it brings in digital collectibles it brings in all these different things that people can relate to uh without the idea of web3 or blockchain technology or the annoying intricacies that we all have to deal with with all the verbiage and things like that people just kind yeah. of understand what it is um, and I think that was something that didn't happen in DeFi. Okay, everything you said makes sense and it sounded super cool and I love the metaphor. But does NFT have utilities? And why should I care? This opportunity with NFTs where he was saying, well, NFTs, we could just use this as membership passes. You have all these different musicians and, and celebrities who are probably just outside the musician rung, so whether they're content creators or things like that, I think that they count as well. But mm. all these people of influence want to use this technology and want to get in on it. I think the problem with the last two years is with the Trojan horse example, people mm. almost got a little bit too excited when they first saw the Trojan horse. They're saying like, oh, wow, this is so great. Like, this is exactly what I wanted. And those are kind of the PFP drops, I would say. It's like you, you kind of saw the shiny sticker, but you didn't really take a mm. look at the rest of the the landscape seeing that there's so much more out there and and so i think utility is always kind of the the web3 meme right everyone's always saying like oh yeah well right now like crypto is very um kind of like is cannibalistic where it just like interacts with each other but once we find that utility it's going to be great and i think we're inching towards that with a few different verticals with nfts similar way so the membership passes this idea of well what happens if you have and taking jason's words too what happens if you have uh, an artist, let's say like um, uh, like Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber has all of the complexities with publishers, music, labels. It, it's basically a convoluted company at, at a certain degree. But what would be amazing is if you could then empower the artist to be able to talk to the fans more directly, but also make sure that the two-way street with the artist is much more seamless. So the, the fans also really get the value. And so the idea was like, let's create a system that enables anyone to be Willy Wonka and everyone can create their own chocolate factory. This is legitimately like a verbatim quote of what Jason said. And it, it actually is a great, yeah, great, great analogy. I, I, because then you now have, let's say you have like a $5 NFT. Those fans can have access to digital channels and, and maybe just like loose touch points where it's not too, too intimate. But if you keep mm -hmm. going up and up and rung, like let's say you pay $10,000 maybe you could get backstage passes once a year to a Justin Bieber concert. And so now you have this interesting market that's created because you now have these assets that can be, again, tradable with anything that's on chain. So you could trade these Justin Bieber backstage tickets for maybe um, like a DeFi protocol, to like a bag of DeFi protocol tokens. That to me is so interesting of an application because now you're able to create value with other markets that didn't exist before. Because I think most innovative points, there was a, a certain degree of, of risk that you had to take and, and, and maybe a leap of faith into the unknown. And that's why I think mm -hmm. this space is so exciting to me because everyone is in agreement that fundamentally there's something amazing underlying all of this. It's this idea of disintermediation. It's this idea of empowering the individual.